Flight 93 was one of four flights hijacked and used as weapons of terror on 9-11. But Flight 93 never reached its target because of the selfless heroism of the passengers. 11 Alive's Hope Ford spoke with one of the family members of those heroes. One mile, 160 flights of stairs, seven years in a row firefighters climbed Stone Mountain Park, and a few miles away, Tom Crowley's moving in to his Stone Mountain home. For the interview, you have to take 10 boxes with you. Call it happenstance, not far from Crowley's home, firefighters ascend a mountain, honoring victims of 9-11, like Crowley's nephew, Jeremy Glick. Just an all-around good guy. Everybody loved him. Jeremy was supposed to fly out of Newark on September 10th, but a fire at the airport changed his flight plan. So he chose to wait and go out the next morning on flight 93. 45 minutes into the flight, Jeremy called his wife and mother-in-law. Jeremy said, there's some bad guys on the airplane and we've been hijacked. Jeremy, Lou Neck, Todd Beamer, Mark Bingham, and Tom Burnett decided to fight. Decided that they were going to take the plane back. Jeremy told his wife he loved her, asked her to stay on the phone. Liz Glick kept the phone line open for 126 minutes. Jeremy dispatched one of the hijackers with a judo chop to the neck. The intended target of the flight, the U.S. Capitol or the White House, but the plane crashed into a Pennsylvania field. Jeremy's daughter, Emmy, was three months old. At 15, she gave this TED Talk on how to deal with tragedy. Tragedies are inevitable, but it is up to us on how they shape us and what they make us become. Emmy is now 20. As I take my path in life, I bring my dad with me wherever I go. Jeremy and 40 other passengers took a path of bravery, saving lives. And Crowley, now 79, he's seen more and more people stand up. He thinks they had a little something to do with it. You'll see problems on airplanes where the passengers will take over and subdue whatever's doing something crazy. So times have changed dramatically. Time has changed, but one thing's remained the same in Crowley's eyes. You can be a hero when the time comes if you take the risk. And these heroes and all victims of 9-11 is why Crowley's proud that people 20 years later still take the time to honor nearly 3,000 victims with one mile 160 flights of stairs. It's symbolism. Never forget has never been truer for Crowley. And Jeremy was posthumously um, awarded the Medal of Heroism and is memorialized at the Flight 93 National Memorial near the crash site and the National 9-11 Memorial in New York City.